What's going on, guys? It's your man, Big Veg. I'm your rock and roll media ambassador. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Yo, I be everywhere, right? You see me with artists. You see me with actors and actresses. I got a couple boxes with me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get the information. We're going to rock out. I'm going to bring y'all some, some, some dope interviews with some dope with some dope boxes that's doing the thing. So go ahead and, um, in, and um, basically tell people who you are. Pablo Valdez. A.K.A. Pretty Boy Boxer. No, because you got to tell the A.K.A. Cause, you know. Okay, all right. Pretty Boy, Pretty Boy. Y'all already know Pretty Boy Pablo. That's what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? And then we also have? Curtis Rebel Sass and Stevens. So um, give us a little bit of information how you got into boxing. I want people to understand like how you acquired the passion of getting into this whole game of boxing. Well, I first started being a martial artist, uh, first degree black belt. And then they told me keep doing boxing. They kept telling me to do boxing, and I got into boxing. Man, my broski here, and he's in another level and inspired me to be like him, you know, be one of the champs. And tell people how, how you got into boxing. I mean, I mean, like you said, you're in a, you're in a different level, but tell people a little, a little, a little backstory. Uh, I've been boxing since five years old. Uh, first fight at eight. After that, I'm here now, professional, 26 and five. 21 knockouts, ready to take it to the next level. I'm not trying to get into, I got you, I'm going to get the coach too. But yo, I'm not trying to get into no beef with no boxes. I'm trying to tell y'all, okay? It's all peace. I love y'all. <laughs> but, but then we also got the coach. My man is obviously making sure that these brothers is on point and they getting their training right. And go ahead and uh, basically tell people who you are. My name is Andre Rosier. I am the trainer to some of the best young talent in Brooklyn, New York. And we are in the cave, AKA the House of Havoc. That's serious right there, right? Sounds serious. Tell people how you got into the whole coaching thing and the training and all that. Well, well basically, um, I used to box and I was told that I had high blood pressure, which kept me out of boxing. And uh, I started going to the gym with my nephews, um, taking them and tutoring them, and one thing led to another, and we started working and training, and everybody started advancing. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put some of that in, in the in the video, but well, basically, I stay on my guys because I ha I hate to lose, and at this point, losing is not a part of the equation. We're working hard to be victorious in every bout we have, and um, we're trying to rise up to the top. Uh, Curtis is the, at the point in his career where it's uh, basically all or nothing. Right, right, right. And Going all in. All in, all in. And uh, he only has a, a short period of time to, to get to that vaulted area in, in boxing history where he can become a Hall of Famer. Mm. And to, for him to do that, he's going to have to have some really significant wins and represent himself and um, box right off into the sunset. What can you give to some advice to those boxers that might be checking this out now to how to get into the game, like some, some, some advice to those? Well, if you're going to try to get into the game, find a, a gym that, that you can learn your craft in. Try to find some, somebody who's going to care about you, consider you, lead you in the right direction. Uh, the boxing game is a shysty game. It's, it's really, really shysty. And um, it's hard to, to work with your integrity intact, but you have to try your best to do that. And I found out that it's the only way for me to go. Even in the face of adversity, if I've always risen above that and um, tried to have the better mind frame and the better attitude and etiquette. So look for that and you should be okay. And, and I want to get some advice from the boxers as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, get some advice for those that, obviously, from, from a boxer's point of view, you know what I'm saying? How to get in, how to stay in, how to stay on point. You know what I'm saying? And all that. Some advice. Uh, you just got to stay focused. That's it. You know, uh, evil is going to come and try to distract you. You got to stay focused. Mm. Stay, you know, like my broski says, you know, stay focused at the big prize. You know what I mean? It's another level to this. It's 90% mental. 
Ten percent right. physically. Right, right. That's what it is, and some advice from the from the future champ. You know what I'm saying to those that might be watching, some future uh, 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 boxers, future you know what I'm saying people that want to get into this whole game. Give some advice from your perspective. Live, live, sleep, eat the shit. That's about it. Yo, you a real laid back brother. You just smooth with it. Just regular, regular day to neighborhood, yo. Yeah, after this interview, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. You don't want to get hit with one of his shots. I don't. I've I seen his shots. You, you too, homie. You too. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I want no, I told you, I want no beef with no boxers. Like, if, if I get into a conversation with a boxer, I'm giving them pound. I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, um, where, can we, uh, where can people follow you guys if they want to book y'all and all that stuff? You know what I'm saying? Give, some, um, give them, like, your contact information. Uh, you can follow me at Pretty Boy Blow, uh, Instagram, and same thing on Snap. Pretty Boy Blow, Snap, Snapchat, regular Snapchat. No, yeah, Snapchat. That's it. Yeah, that's what I really have. Okay. Uh, Rich underscore Blow on Instagram. On Twitter, it's Showtime underscore Curtis, I believe. It's Showtime. <laughs> that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Um, last thing, uh, I want you guys to look into the camera. You know what I'm saying? I'll start with you, Pablo. Look into the camera. If, if your opponent is watching right now, what do you want to say to your opponent? Homie, homie just did The Undertaker. Oh, but this ain't WWF. <laughs> Get it straight. He's done. You know what I'm saying? And um, for, for, for your opponent, if uh, he's watching? Bring the smelly salt. And that's it. What you most want me to say? Yo. I'm getting a little, sk I'm getting a little, sk in fact, Ming, Ming, you up next, bro, I'm out of here, you know what I'm saying, yo, it's your man, Big Veg, I'm your rock and see me an ambassador, I'm bringing y'all all types of interviews, man, sports, man, you name it, man, we here, man, keep it locked, man. Ladies and gentlemen, uh